there you go. We now have a fire event method for each of the methods we have in the listener. This up till now we have implemented the event paradigm. There really is nothing much to it and it fully works up till now. In fact, as you can see I, I haven't I haven't even told you what we're going to do next, which means that the dog, the dog class is totally independent of everything else. But using this this event paradigm we now have the, a mechanism for other components to interact with our dog. Now to show this to show this the how 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 the event how the event paradigm works and how we can write our own listeners now I'm going to add something else to the dog and it will be its life it's like I'm going to infuse the gift of life into the dog and what this thread does it randomly selects one of the events of the four events we have and and fires it every so often as you can see our dog will first throw a four-sided die and then depending on which number comes up it fires one of the events and we want the dog to fire one of the events every 5 seconds so I'm going to add that so the dog will, will either be hungry, lonely, thirsty or wants to sleep every 5 seconds anyone interested in, in these events all, all they have to do is register their own listener with the dog using these two methods Something we also shouldn't forget is that we should start the thread here. Now, let's create a person class. It represents any anyone who owns the dog and just like any good owner the person will take care of the dog depending on what happens to the dog so already we know that the person needs to implement the dog listener interface and as you can see Net NetBeans tells us that we need to add all the abstract methods. There they are. These are the four methods we declared in, in dog listener. So when the dog is hungry before 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 implementing these four methods, let me add the constructor. The person as you can see will have a name so that we can easily refer to him in the output. Okay so let's uh, implement the four listener methods depending on the event that occurs the person will perform will, will, will react to the dog as you can see if the dog is hungry then the person will feed it now here is uh, the get source method as you can see since we pass the dog event object here and the dog event stores its source then I can easily refer to it using the get source method and and because of that I can now also get the name of the dog let's finish the other method
and there you go. Now since person is a dog listener, our last step to do is to register an object of type person with an object of type dog uh, as it's listener. So we can do that in our main method there. That is the dog's constructor. Now to even show how good this event paradigm is, I'm actually going to create two dog objects. Each each dog will fire its own events. And how did we say will the person know which dog fired the event? It will know using this get source method there. Let's create a person and we'll register each the person to each dog. So now whenever dog one fires an event it will inform person one. Whenever dog two fires an event it will also inform person one by running by executing one of these methods here. Okay, so we can, we, we can run the program and see what happens in the output. Now, as you can see, whenever the, the dogs fire an event, the person reacts accordingly. Husky is hungry, then Max feeds Husky. Sam feels lonely, so Max plays with Sam for a while. Now notice that the first two events that the dogs fired, uh, the person didn't react. Now, I'm not going to tell you why, but try to think a bit and see if you can uh, solve this problem we have here. Think, think why it could have happened and see if you can solve, solve it yourself. And as you can see, it works nicely. Now we could stop here, but I before I conclude, I want to show you a small trick that goes hand in hand with this paradigm, and that is the the adapter classes. Since dog listener is an interface, if I want to create my own dog listener, I have to implement each and every one of these methods. So, since since programmers are quite lazy people, we want to remove that inconvenience and we can do that by creating an adapter class. What the adapter class does is it implements the listener class first of all. So we need to we need to add the abstract methods. But look at this each method of the interface I simply implement them as doing absolutely nothing. Now since this is a class, I can extend it or use it and overwrite the methods which I am only interested in. So, let's see how this works. I'm going to add another uh, listener. This time it will be a child. Now children are quite naughty sometimes. So each time one of the dogs sleeps, the child will the child will uh, wake the dog up again. How can we do that? As 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 you might have noticed. The child is only interested in the sleeping event of the dog. It, does, it doesn't care if the dog is hungry. It only cares if the dog sleeps. So we could either implement the dog listener here, like this. But then we would have to, we would have to implement each of the four methods. We could 
extend the dog adapter and then override the dog sleeps method only but the problem with this is that the child will not be able to extend any uh, a more useful class usually this would this class would be in a hierarchy of classes and we would need to extend something else so our solution would be to use composition it's called and I do that by uh, keeping a reference to the dog adapter as you can see I'm going to create an anonymous, an anonymous class here and since it's a and it's not an interface I can override the methods I need only And as you can see, since this dog adapter is a class, I only implemented the dog sleeps method. The others are still there, but they're, they're empty and they do nothing. Now the, the child class, like the person class, will have a name, so let's which we place in the constructor. Now, a final thing we need to to add uh, to the child class is that since the child class is not a dog listener then when we come back to the application class here we cannot uh, we can we cannot register it as an a listener as you can see look if I I write I, I create a child there it will not accept it because child is not dog listener so we need a a, a a mechanism to return this dog adapter and we can do that simply by creating a getter class for it so get listener and return the listener there you go so all we have to do when we create the child here Finally, oops, child. is to use that method we just added there and get the listener. We need to remember to get the listener because child, child is not a, a dog listener, and the get listener will return our adapter which as we said is a listener there it is so let's finish this